Happy new comic book day, webheads. We got Endless Winter. We have King and Black tie-ins. We got all kinds of comic books. What did you pick up this week? Hey, all my webheads out there. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you Spider Slayer's comic book haul. Fans, this is episode 400 and I think 52, and this is the video series where each and every week I share with you what I picked up at the comic book store, which of course is Comic Central, located in Central Florida in the city of Sanford. So if you guys are ever in the town, go ahead and check them out. Guys, they are wonderful. They do great things for me. And... Guys, I got a great haul for you this week. Hopefully you guys are excited. So let's not waste any more time. Let's break open that mysterious black bag. That's right, guys. It's in full effect this week. Here is the mysterious black bag. The comics are inside. Will soon be revealed to you. So here we go. There is the stack. And let's get the black bag right there on the chair. And let's crack open this bad boy so we have first we have this uh free marvel spotlight that features uh king in black so this is kind of cool because i can use some of these images for like maybe my background and update my background but everything that you want to know what's going on with king in black um i guess you can get caught up here what series are getting ready to come out some of the history um all the books all the tie-ins some artwork there so cool things there happening for that marvel spotlight all right so let's get into the real comic books now shall we all right so let's put that marvel spotlight away and now let's kick it off with an image book this is Big Girls Issue 5. Love this series. Uh, this one is done by uh, Jason Howard, I think it is. And so such a good book, man, when it comes to like all these big, huge people doing battle against these crazy creatures. Uh, but, you know, there's a, there's a war going on between uh, two groups. One was uh, they were a uh, husband and wife, and it looks like they got separated, and they're just, you know, are these the good guys? Are the women the bad guys? Like, it's this flip-flop, and it's a great book. I love the artwork inside of it. So if you like some action, you like big monsters and big people fighting each other, I mean, that's it. Big Girls Issue 5. Check it out today. All right, next. I want to know if you guys got this. So, I heard about this yesterday briefly. Robert Kirkman was releasing today a secret comic book, right? And I don't know how many were released in the, sh in the store, but my comic shop, Comic Central, put this in the box for me because they know I'm a huge Robert Kirkman fan that I read all of Invincible, all of The Walking Dead. I read Firepower. And so they put this in my box. And this is Solid Blood, issue 17. What the heck? Like, why is it starting issue 17? The theory was that the, the guys that worked at the shop, my, my crew, they were like, they were like, well, maybe it counts down from 17. And then, and then the other, uh, shop, shop person wound up saying, you know what? No, it goes, there's another issue starts from issue 18. So I don't know what's going on there. So, but when you open up this book, you're going to be surprised because it's like an old school comic book. It has the old school paper, right? This is what I've been saying, man. I mean, this is pretty cool. Like, I want this old school stuff back. If it makes the cost of comic books cheaper, then I would love that. Now, there's also speculation that this particular book might cross over with crossover. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. But Ryan Otley did this cover I'm excited about this. I am so curious. Did you guys get this secret comic book? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So next I have Marvel books to show you. First is the tie-in for King in Black. This is uh, Black Cat. This is issue one. I loved the Black Cat series, and I'm happy that she is tying into King in Black. I am still awaiting a solid tie-in for this series uh, for King in Black. But yeah, 
I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. Artwork looks really good. Let's hope it really does have to deal with the story. At least, you know, I'm five pages in and you got Felicia dealing with a symbiotic dragon there. So we'll see what happens. I'm really looking forward to this one here, guys. So Black Cat, this is issue one. So with that, then we wind up getting the Black Cat. This is issue one, a variant cover. So I wound up getting that one as well. That's a nice looking variant there with Felicia uh, scaling down the building with a bunch of jewels, right? And then I wound up getting the Scotty Young Black Cat cover. I, I love the character and I love all her covers. I think it's awesome. And you get to see the stuffing from Spider-Man. I think that's so cool. Awesome facial expression as well. So that's really awesome too. And then we have uh, another book from Marvel. I'm, on, I'm trying to get these nullified covers. And this one is Captain America. This is issue 26. Love this cover here as Cap is holding the shield. And it's all like got this symbiotic stuff on it. Crazy looking stuff there. Right. And then we have Iron Man. Uh, this book is actually a pretty good book that has to deal with Patsy Walker and Iron Man, and I think there's something going on between these two right here. Look at that. Never expected that to happen. I love their friendship in here, but I didn't think it was going to go any further. So we got that going on, but I love this cover of a nullified Iron Man. So that's pretty cool. So next we have the next tie-in when it comes to King in Black. We have the Immortal Hulk. Um, and I heard that this is a silent issue. So it's maybe like Silent Night, Deadly Night. But yeah, again, what is up with that artwork? Like, right? That's crazy stuff right there. Um, but it does tie in. It looks like he's doing battle against symbiotic creatures and symbiotes and all that other stuff. So we'll see what Immortal Hulk has to offer, right? And then next we have... Uh, another independent book mixed in with the Marvel stuff. We have Savage Dragon, issue 255. It's been a solid series. It's getting a little bit better. I'm going to open up this artwork. It's a little grotesque. <laughs> Look what's going on there with Eric Larson's artwork, right? So we got that going on. And then next we have the other King in Black uh, book. Oh, man, and this one is kind of ruined, and I didn't realize that it was. They probably don't notice that, so I'll have to probably see if I can get another copy. Uh, but we got Symbiotic Spider-Man in there. Um, wasn't a fan of the first issue, but, yeah, we'll see what happens with this one. So we got that going on there, too. All right. Here's some of the artwork by Greg Land with those crazy facial expressions. So that's kind of cool. All right, so next, speaking of DC Comics, I have... Dark Knight's Death Metal. This is issue six with the foil cover. Um, I still have to read issue five, actually. So I'll probably read issues five and six back to back. So I have the full experience there of what's going on uh, towards the end of Death Metal. I, it's kind of gone over my head. I've kind of lost interest. But I do want to see how this ends up. And uh, we'll see what happens. So now, guys, it's time for those Facebook shoutouts. Yes, webheads, it's time for those Facebook group shout-outs. And the first shout-out today goes to Brett Weston. He goes, my new comics for December 9th. Wow, a lot this week. Enjoy your books, everyone. He's got all kinds of great stuff. He picked up some of that Endless Winter stuff. He got Venom issue 31, which is a tie-in uh, for King in Black, Iron Man, G.I. Joe, Conan, a little bit of everything. Hope you enjoyed your books this past week, Brett. Next, we have Chris Mervenka. He says, I had to wait an extra day because my wife was symptomatic and we had to wait on COVID test results before I went anywhere. But he wound up having go into the store. He did get his books. He has a nice group of books here. Thank you for sharing. Hope everything is well in your household. And thank you so much for sharing, Chris. All right, the next shout out goes to Leo, who made his his Sunday reading into a Sunday newspaper, which I think is kind of cool. And it says, this Sunday's reads, this week's new comic book day haul. And he shows all his books on there. He got a couple of uh, covers for crossover, Homesick Pilots, which is a really good book, Sword, The Venom tie-in, uh, all kinds of different books. That was very creative on showing your haul. 
And then last but not least, we have James, who sits there and shows his round table hall, which has a ton of books on there. I can't even name them all. The one that stands out is Deceased with that Dr. Fate cover on there. He does have crossover, but man, there's a lot of books on that table. That must be a pretty big table. So yes, guys, as usual, thank you for sharing. And if you want to become a uh, member, all you got to do is go on to my Facebook group page and just sit there and find Comic Book Corner 2.0 Web Edge Unite. I'll approve you, and you could get shouted out in a future haul. All right, so continuing the haul, we have Endless Winter. We have part six. I, You know, this is the Teen Titans special. Like, I had to read this one because I've read the entire series of Teen Titans. So why not pick it up? And at this point, why not finish Endless Winter when I said I was going to drop it? Not a huge fan of this story. It's definitely not my favorite. The artwork is a little off, but you know what? When it comes to Teen Titans, again, I'm a sucker, and like I said, I'm at issue six. It's only nine parts. Why not finish the darn thing already? So, Teen Titans special issue one, tying into Endless Winter. All right, so what else do we have here? We got Batman. This is issue 105. Ghost Maker, Clown Hunter, Batman. Who will win Gotham City? I have a feeling it's going to be Batman. I don't know. That's just my thought there, but here we have it right there. Okay, and then here is some of the artwork right there as well. So, been a pretty good book. I've liked it. Crazy cliffhanger at the end of the last issue. I'm not going to lie when it comes to Clown Hunter. So, I'm looking forward to it. Batman issue 105. So, then with that, I wound up getting the variant cover for the book. And I think that's a pretty nice looking variant by Matina there. You get to see the bat symbol you know, all of Gotham, and then you get to see our characters there in the background. Really good looking cover as well. So next we go back to Marvel, and these books are all out of order today, but I got the uh, regular issue of Iron Man as well. You saw the nullified cover earlier, but this is a nice Alex Ross cover. So we got that. And then we have New Mutants, issue 14, jumping on board with this, the new creative team. Uh, here's some of the interior artwork. Have no idea what's going to go on in this book uh, going forward, you know. But when it comes to this, I'm going to give it a try. But if it doesn't interest me, I'll just drop it like I did last time. So New Mutants issue 14, you know, coming off a of ten of swords. So why not try it again? All right. So next we have Darth Vader issue eight. Yeah, Darth Vader going against this guy. Like, what is this? I, I have no no idea is it a sith like what's happening but the series has been a lot of fun and darth vader's been getting his butt beat man like serious he's been through so much in these few issues of darth vader and i love all the flashbacks and all that great stuff in there as well so that's issue eight of the series all right and then next from marvel we wind up getting taskmaster issue two. First issue was a blast i loved it it was so much fun Here's some of the interior artwork. Looks great. Look at that. Look at Taskmaster. And uh, I just love the dialogue between Nick Fury. So, looks like a pretty good battle going on in there. So, looking forward to it. That's Taskmaster issue two. All right. And then next we have uh, X Force issue 15. So, that's the other uh, X books that's coming out has to deal with Omega Red. Benjamin Percy is the writer of this book. I want to know what they do with Omega Red. You know, do they put him in the ground with Sabretooth? I don't know. But I liked X-Force before Ten of Swords, and hopefully I will like X-Force after um, Ten of Swords. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed there. So that is X-Force. That's issue 15. All right. Next, we have the Immortal Hulk issue 41. We got more of these like dinner covers where they're all eating dinner with each other. There's like been multiples of them this year. Uh, but Ben Grimm and uh, Incredible Hulk or Immortal Hulk, I should say, are fighting each other in this issue. And it looks like it's going to be an epic battle. And the artwork in this series is so great. And I can't wait to see how this battle ends up. So that is issue 41. All right. And then next, going into um, 
some more independence. We have Stillwater issue four. Such a great book by Chip Zardarsky with this guy going into town and it's a place where you don't get sick. If you get injured, you heal. If you get murdered, you come back to life. So awesome. I love the artwork in this book as well. I can't wait to see what happens with this story. You know, this guy's in this town. He's abiding by their rules. And does he escape? Or does this town get discovered? Like, what happens? So that's issue four. All right. And then next we have The Walking Dead Deluxe. This is issue five. Love Walking Dead in color, man. And I love rereading this book again. I think it's so well done. David Finch does the covers for these, so it's nice to have new covers. And always great, again, to see this book in color in color, and just reliving all these stories and, and, and stuff like that. So really great. All right, and then the two feature books of the day. One, I'm getting this King in Black uh, black light cover. So if you have a black light on it, Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy are going to glow. This is a one in 3,000 book, okay? And this is from the UK. So very limited edition. I was happy to get it in my collection. My shop saved it for me. So I appreciate them saving this book for me. Awesome looking cover there. And then last but not least, I wound up getting the nicest, I guess, or most rare Black Cat variant cover this week as you have Cat on the cover there and she's... Looks like she's has a necklace because it's shiny, you know. Uh, really interesting feature there with her face. And uh, it's not bad. I liked it. I thought it was kind of cool. So I think I legit have all the black cat covers for this week. <laughs> so, guys, there you have it. There is the haul for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, guys, I want to know in the comments below what you picked up this week. Join that Facebook group page, guys. I'll approve you. And uh, enjoy those books this week. And hopefully you got that Robert Kirkman secret comic book. So until next time, I'll leave you more content. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.